what even is synthetic identity theft? You know, this one took me completely <laughs> by surprise because now I feel like y'all are just out here making stuff up. Y'all are making stuff up. Ms. Lealisa here, thank you for joining the video. I guess they aren't making things up. They're just putting names on some of these scams that are going on. So what is synthetic identity theft? Well, we are going to go to CBS for your money to find out what it is. Oops. Don't need to steal your whole identity. They can just steal a piece of it. According to the Federal Trade Commission, synthetic identity theft has increased more than 200 percent in the last five years. So what is it? Identity theft happens when a crook takes information from several different sources to create a new identity. And they might take your social security number from a data breach and then combine that with the name, address, and phone number of other people to invent a whole new identity online. Instead of posing as you, they create a whole new persona to take out loans, make purchases, and other things. They often use the leaked information of children in their schemes as well, because how would a child even know that their information had been stolen online? These crooks will often spend months or even years building up a good credit score for their fake identity until they can get their hands on a big line of credit. Years? Now, we're used to scammers being like in and out real fast, less we're going to build it up over a, you know, a few days, a couple weeks, go in for the hit, get the scam money, run, we're good to go years. Here's the thing about years. You know, if you're a scammer doing something over years, there's an increased chance or opportunity of you getting caught, of you giving up some information that might let us know who your real, what your real identity is. So it's really interesting that some of these scammers are spending months and years setting up this whole thing, building a whole new fake persona out here in order to hit their big payday. How do you know if a piece of your identity is being used for this? Well, according to the watchdogs at Scam Aside, those include being contacted about a mystery account that you never opened or don't even know about, an alias listed on your credit report that you don't use at all, and a dramatic drop in your credit score seemingly for no reason. If you look into this and discover you're the victim of synthetic ID theft, you should immediately notify the three credit reporting agencies, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. Make sure you ask them to investigate and erase negative information from your credit report. So, all right, he already told us what to do. I want to let you know about um, a letter I got from a party. Let me see if I can find it here, up here amidst all of my other stuff. I should have had it ready to go. I probably can't even find it now. It's probably hidden in some of this stuff I got from a court. Oh, nope. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. I see it. Be patient with me. Here we go. Now, I did a video a couple of weeks ago regarding a major hacking data breach that took place. Let me put on my glasses here. And guess who? Guess who's the data? <laughs> was included in there. All right. So I get this email. Well, not an email. I'm sorry. I get this letter addressed to me and it says, dear, we are writing to, with my name. Yes. We are writing to notify you of a data security incident that may have involved your personal information. We take the protection of your personal information very seriously and are sending this correspondence to tell you what happened, what information was involved, what we have done, and what you can do to address the situation. Well, guess what? I almost don't need you to tell me what happened because you uh, sent this out July 17th, 2024 is when it was dated. Well, guess what? I already knew about it because I saw it online and did my own video on it. But oh, well, thank you for sending the letter as you had to do. What happened? Ticketmaster recently discovered that an unauthorized third party obtained information from a cloud database hosted by a third party data services provider. Based on our investigation, we determined that the unauthorized activity occurred between April 2nd, 2024 and May 18th, 2024. 
On May 23rd, 2024, we determined that some of your personal information may have been affected by the incident. We have not seen any additional unauthorized activity in the cloud database since we began our investigation. All right. So yes, it's a letter goes through what information was involved. It says your name, basic contact information and payment card information. Oh, such as encrypted credit or debit card numbers and expiration dates. Ah, <sighs> well, I tell you, glad I finally took the time to read this, right? It says what we are doing, we have been diligently investigating this incident with the assistance of outside e experts. So now I've got to go do, I've got to enroll in the credit monitoring services. I got to pull my credit report and monitor my accounts. I got to possibly do a credit freeze and look at fraud alerts. It's too much. <sighs> I was not prepared. I'll do a separate video on this, but I just wanted to give you the sort of highlight here. Any of us can have our information taken and stolen. People are out there hacking, working hard every single day to try to get your information. Looks like I was a part of that breach that happened that I already knew about. Did not expect to see my information there because I probably have not used that service. Oh my gosh. Um, if I, <laughs> God bless you. Um, I have probably not used that service. Let me see. In, let's see, it's 2024. Oh my gosh. It might've been 10 years. It might've been 10 years. It may have been that long. Might've been sooner. I don't think so. I don't know. There, I don't know. But there you have it. Any and everybody, anybody out there can be a victim of hacking of any of these data breaches of somebody trying to you know get you a, in, involved in a scam job turn over your information get into your accounts try to get into your phone try to get you downloading stuff using QR codes now <laughs> that send you to sites that take your information it is everywhere and very hard to escape. You, you, you just have to be a little bit more vigilant now, but I'll do a separate video. We'll go through that whole letter from beginning to end, tell you what's in it, what I'm going to be doing to, to see what happened with the data breach with my info and keep you informed. All right. So if you learned a little bit more about synthetic identity theft, which I had never heard of anyway, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Peace.